Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as a character I don't particularly like, but we'll do it anyways. I'm going to go as the good old rogue and I'm going to go with a Jawbreaker to start with. And I was going to, I'm going to try something a little new. I'm going to grab this crown off the bat. Weapon drop tier increases more each area. Enemies have more health and are more aggressive. I just kind of want to see how much of a difference it actually makes to a run over the course of it. Um, because, I don't know, it could add some interesting difficulty, and I'm just intrigued to see, like, how much better weapons I end up getting. Like, I'd love it if it's, like, robot tier, where I'm just getting, like, way better weapons early on, but I don't know if it's going to be quite that aggressive. I'm unsure, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a go and find out. Um, I'm going to grab that. This is a decent weapon to start off with because it does do a good amount of damage. I am definitely seeing the increased aggression. I will say that now. They are, the It seems like the time delay when an enemy sees you to when it fires is just a lot less. And like with these like dogs and stuff, the time delay of like them moving towards you is also a lot less. So I'm definitely noticing that already. Um, but we'll see what weapons we end up getting and see if it's worthwhile. If it's not worthwhile, then it might be something that the dev has to maybe look into buffing. But... We haven't got to that point yet, so let's not even talk about it. Let's not even talk about it. I wonder if bosses are going to be more aggressive. They'll probably definitely have extra HP, but... Whoa! Okay, no, no, no. That's new. Whatever he... What on earth? So, it also seems like the cooldown between when they can fire is significantly lessened, too. This is probably not going to be worth it, because it seems like, so far, a pretty significant increase in difficulty. I'm really hoping that it's, uh, it's going to pay off. Jawbreaker and Jawbreaker. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm not I'm not giving up on this yet. I want to see if this idea plays out. Shotgun shoulders, really good for us here. Makes this a lot better. Means I can kind of spam it. You can just see how many more shots there are on screen, like, basically all the time. Um, I'll take that as well. I'll take the inversion magnet, why not? Inversion Mag is one of those things that came a, became a little bit obsolete with the crown that just makes inverted areas so much more likely. It's not a guarantee with that, whereas it is with the Inversion Magnet, but still. So it seems to be improving the enemy's health by about 20% based on that boss there. I feel like I haven't been to the sewers in ages. Oh, dude. Dude! This is this is gnarly, man. I'm gonna keep trying it, but this is this is pretty gnarly. Proving to be quite difficult. It's just it's like a whole new game to get used to. It's like playing a new difficulty. And I'm yet to see a better weapon yet, but I've only gotten to the first few stages, so I'm not gonna judge that too harshly just yet. Keep missing my portal strike batteries. Right, maybe not the best weapon. I need like a laser gun or something. Some of the piercing and a bit of range would be ideal. Um but with that again. Even the, like, little bandits are proving to be way, way more difficult. They're just all firing all the time. There's no, like, downtime for them anymore. Yeah, it could put him, puts them up to 118 health, so it's not quite 20% increase. It's just a bit less. Just a little bit less. Right, what are we going for here? This is a burst weapon, so Tails End, uh, burst weapons, that's more free shots, which I'm, I'm interested in with this. Ow. 
Ow. Right, just keep firing down the hall and hope for the best. Some HP there. Definitely just use my portal strike there, thank you. Much else left? Micro shotgun. That's not burst though, is it? That's just auto. Eh. Free sewer entry is pretty nice. Wow. This is this is really, really I'm gonna keep going with it, because I'm I'm determined to see in the in the later stages if I do actually get better weapon tiers. But for right now, this crown seems garbage. <laughs> like it's not just me. This is way harder, right? Like way, way harder. These the the firing delay on these guys is just like absolutely cranked. Go with a stronger portal strike. Like the the scorpions are wild now. Do you know what'd be really helpful as well? It'd be really helpful. The goddamn fish skull wasn't massively in the way. Can I have ammo, please? Thank you. Man. Yeah, this is way harder. <laughs> um... Whoever's firing that gun at me, please go away. My god, this is hectic. Right. Have I seen any better weapons? Come to me, better weapons, please. Rabbit's paw could be good here. Like, you just, the moment I walk around a corner, they're already shooting me. It's wild. Also, why is there so many police? Why all of a sudden there's so many police? This weapon just isn't quite cut out for this, I don't think. Right, can I scare around both of these? Yes, I can. I'm surprised the throw mode doesn't just let you hold an additional portal strike rather than spawning two batteries per stage. Golden screwdriver, heavy crossbow. I'll take the golden screwdriver. Oh, I blew up the car! Damn it! This is absolute insanity. I honestly I cannot fathom how I'm still alive right now. Now that, more for rare level 9, that's, that's definitely proving that it's working, because you would never normally see that this early. So that's... That's something, at least. That's something, but let's see how much this carries on. I'm enjoying myself, though. It's, 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 it's a lot harder. It's a lot, lot harder. I don't dislike that. I'm 
I'm making use of my throwing butt portal strike, which I never normally do, so that's good. Double bouncer laser pistol. That sounds goddamn delicious. <laughs> I love the laser weapons. I think laser weapons are definitely my favorite type, so getting this seems just beautiful. Laser brain would, would definitely be lovely right about now. Gonna go for that. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh my god. I can't even pay attention. What the hell happened then? Right, do I have any better starting weapons with this gal? Because this one's stinky. Oh, I was really hoping I'd have a laser weapon, but sadly I do not. Bouncer SMG is decent, though. Only thing is, ammo consumption, clearly a bit of a problem. Right, we good? Um... I honestly really like the throw mode now, actually knowing how much it improves it, I want it. Taking so much damage. Okay. Into the inverted area, please. And... Better accuracy, I think, for this gun would be quite good. Right. Just hope we can keep this going. Inverted big bandit. I don't even know where he spawned. There he is. The insta-kill on bosses cannot be denied. If you use it right, it is pretty good. Really, that hit me twice. Maggot launcher? Um... I don't know how good the maggot launcher actually is. Doesn't seem amazing. But it is of quality that I wouldn't normally see on that stage, so the, the quality level stuff clearly is working reasonably well. Dubious to if it's worth, but still. Flame director shotgun. That seems pretty good, right? Beautiful. Slash shotgun's pretty fun. Um, yeah. What, look how much they move. Like, whatever, there's, there's some sort of internal, like, point whatever seconds of cooldown before they can do and like fire again or move again or whatever. It clearly just like turns that off or puts it to like 25% of what it normally is because they move and shoot at like lightning quick speeds. Let me open that up. Flame splinter gun. Yes, please. This thing's very strong. I'm liking it. So I guess it is kind of worth it to, like, if you can survive the early game, you can get a good gun early on and then switch off of it, I guess. It's like the play, really. I'm also getting a lot more curse chests, I'm noticing. Bouncer plasma gun.
I'm not sure which would be better at killing this guy. That did pretty good. Jaw crusher. Potentially. Yeah, I'll take the jaw crusher, actually. Oh, there was two portal strikes there that I missed. Stupid. This thing's the weapon for us right now, though. Clear out a whole area of walls and enemies. I'm getting two per stage, I might as well use them. Hyper Bouncer Rifle. It's doing okay. I think the jaw one's better though. Jaw Buster. This is great damage. That's burst. I would like more free shots, thank you, with this. That just seems good and fun. There was a golden boy there. Didn't even realise. Just annihilated him. Okay, we're through. This has been super hectic, I've got to admit. Like, absolutely crazy. Areas like this we do not use to use our power for, but... We do only have 2 HP right now. That didn't kill you? Wow. Even the second one didn't kill you. Wow, this guy is... His extra health is, uh, is is carrying him right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, so many bouncy bullets. Yeah, his extra health was carrying him then. Wow. Bullet shovel. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've got eagle eyes in that as well. Is that why it's so directional? This is very good. There's so many more enemies, dude. This is insane. This is the not normal, right? This is just way more enemies than normal. Yo yo minigun. Super penetrator. Yeah, this is like loop level stuff. Okay, that's not actually as good as I thought it was going to be. Super penetrator, though. I can get behind a super penetrator. God damn it does it does increase the tier, I can say that for sure. The ammo side of things are not in a good way right now. Yeah. This is just untenable. <laughs> this is very, very difficult. Just hypes the game up to extreme levels of difficulty. I think you could probably do with tweaking a bit. <laughs> it's maybe a little over-tuned, but it's fun. I suppose it's optional, so it's, realistically, it's not a problem. It would be fun to use this a little more without it being quite so insanely aggressive, though, but to each their own. I don't want to take away from people that probably enjoy it being this difficult. There's probably a lot of people that play with this just on all the time for the increased difficulty. And to them, there's the people that probably loop 17 times every time they play and so this isn't even hard <laughs> but for me and my small brain it's not easy oh my god i can't do it there's just so much going on there's so many enemies this is a good weapon to start with though i'm liking this as a starter weapon Having just some AoE, being able to deal with enemies that aren't directly the one I'm firing at, I think is important. Ow, immediate. Dude, you see how quick they fire now? They see you and they instantly shoot. 
Man. Okay, we'll leave it there, but that's a fun episode, though, and an interesting look at a crown I'm pretty pretty interested in. I could, I could see myself using that a lot if I get better with it, but it's a learning process. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.